We just celebrated the feast of the body and blood of Christ, Corpus Christi, and it seems a shame that we don't spend a while reflecting on this great mystery and gift. But we can do that today because the saint whom we honor, Saint Cyril of Jerusalem, who died in the year 444, wrote something that can guide such a reflection. Hello, Father James Kubicki here. And you might remember that at the Last Supper, Jesus, according to John's Gospel, said that he was the vine and we are the branches. Branches can only remain alive and fruitful if they remain united with the vine, the trunk or stem of a plant. What unites us, the branches, with Jesus, the vine? The Eucharist, the body and blood of Christ. Now, here's what St. Cyril of Jerusalem had to say about the vine and the branches. The Lord calls himself the vine and those united to him branches in order to teach us how much we shall benefit from union with him and how important it is for us to remain in his love by receiving the Holy Spirit who is the bond of union between us and Christ our Savior those who are joined to him as branches are to a vine share in his own nature the vine is the parent of its branches and provides their nourishment from Christ and in Christ we have been reborn through the Spirit in order to bear the fruit of life, not the fruit of our old sinful life, but the fruit of a new life, founded upon our faith in Him and our love for Him, like branches growing from a vine, we now draw our life from Christ, and we cling to His holy commandment in order to preserve this life, just as the trunk of the vine gives its own natural properties to each of its branches. So, by bestowing on them the Holy Spirit, the only begotten Son of the Father gives Christians a certain kinship with Himself and with God the Father because they have been united to Him by faith and determination to do His will in all things.